Hey guys, it's Rebecca here, and I know how difficult it is to eat healthy because we tend to gravitate towards things that are instant, processed food, junk food, chips, and all that delicious things that have no nutrients in it. So in this video, I'm going to show you guys some things that I made that you guys can probably make at home um, that you guys can eat after school or just any time you want rather than things that will fill you up with no nutrient value to it. So eating healthy is a little bit more expensive than just buying like noodles because a box of noodles is like $2 and you can buy like um, a couple of fruits with that and you guys might be like, oh, but I want to get, why am I talking so much? Some advice I can give you guys is I think we tend to go towards things that we read about that are really healthy. Oh my gosh, I heard kale is like the most nutrient dense vegetable ever. And that's the only thing you tend to eat. I would say you want a variety of different kinds of healthy fruits, foods, vegetables, and not just stick to one kind so you get a so you get vitamins from all sources of foods. One popular choice for snacks are almonds just because they are, um, they contain healthy fats and they will fill you up and they're pretty good. Another one is Greek yogurt because Greek yogurt has so much protein than compared to regular yogurt and they have a lot of different flavors. In fact, you make sure you uh, mix up your yogurt before you eat it. Um, you don't want to eat your yogurt really chunky like I did. It was my first time. Hummus, and this one comes with uh, pretzels. So you can eat it with pretzels, or you can eat it with cucumbers. And cucumbers, you know, every vegetable fruit out there is pretty much healthy. Okay, now for visual demonstration for snacks is I would demonstrate this one, but I don't have any bananas at my house for the first time ever. Um, so first you'll need like a chopstick or a stick or any kind. You would just stick your banana right through it. And then you'll need some Greek yogurt or just any kind of yogurt. I prefer Greek because it's healthier. Dip your banana or just cover your dem demana. banana in a yogurt and then you can roll it around in granola. And granola is such a healthy choice because it has a lot of protein in it. And you can put it in your oatmeal or anything you want and they come in bags instead of like granola bars. Isn't that awesome? Okay, so I'll show you guys how to make this right now. You'll need a fresh washed bowl of raspberries, Greek yogurt of any kind, and for your supplies you'll need scissors, spoon, and a Ziploc. And now you're finished. And just pop it in the freezer. We got the raspberries! Okay, so now I have a quick tutorial for my avocado spread. There was one last recipe that I wanted to show you guys. However, I went to Walmart and all of it was sold out. I was going to make kale chips. However, it's really easy to make, so I'm going to go ahead and just tell you how to make it, but you can Google, uh, YouTube it. Um, all you have to do is get some kale, and you just take off the kale leaves. You wash it, you dry it really nice, you put some olive oil on it, just a little bit, and you throw some sprinkle of salt, you don't want too much, and then you get a pan, and you just spread it out, and you set your oven to 350, and you leave it in there for 15 minutes or until it, it turns crispy. And... That's a nice replacement uh, for chips. Oh, I hope you'll find this video helpful and entertaining. I also have a Tumblr, a Twitter, and an Instagram. Bye, guys.